We're installing courtesy lights on our boat today. We're going to show you everything that we use for this project, show you how to do the wiring, and give you a breakdown of what everything costs. So we had previously installed courtesy lights on our boat, but we're not super thrilled with the position of the lights on the boat. So we're going to change the position and install new lights in some areas. And for a couple of the other lights, we're just going to be switching them out to a different color. We found the white is very, very bright at night, and we think a little bit of a blue color will be a little more relaxing, easy to see, easy on the eyes. All right, so these are the lights we're going to be installing. Uh, we found them on Amazon. The link is in the description below if you're interested in getting the same lights. We've got our heat gun, our drill and drill bits, a wire stripper, wire crimper, cutter, connectors, and heat shrink. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just remove these lights. We like the position of these, so we'll be taking them out and just simply exchanging them for the different lights. starting at the fuse block and going all the way around the boat and then ending up right over here. So we are going to start working right here at the end and work our way back. Always use marine grade copper tin wire. This one right here is a 16 gauge. So up first we've got to strip our wires. There's different types of wire strippers but this one right here is going to give you the most consistent results. We're going to put on our connectors I'm using marine grade heat shrink connectors. As you can see, it's 16 to 22 gauge. We're going to twist our wire. I've already got them twisted here so that it's a little bit easier to put them on. Okay, we'll go ahead and twist them once they're on there. All right, and now we'll go ahead and crimp the wire. Now, with this type of crimper, you want to make sure you squeeze the handle all the way down so that it releases. And you'll just want to make sure to take a couple tugs on there to make sure it's secure. Now we're going to do the same thing to the other wire. Now we're going to feed these wires through the hole and connect our light. Alright, so this is our new light. These are a little different than our old lights. It came with this kind of padding to the back, which we're hoping is going to work to help seal out the water from getting in. So we've put our heat shrink on here on each of our wires. We're going to go ahead and connect the back of the light into the wires of the boat. Now we've got to apply some heat to our heat shrink connectors. And then for added protection, we've added these heat shrinks that are going to go over our connectors. So at the end of these connectors, you'll see a little bit of glue that comes out once it's been done. That's what you're looking for, that's what you want. Now we're going to take our heat shrink and put it over our connectors. In order to have all of these lights run off the same circuit, we need to daisy chain the wires. So I've got the wire from the last light and connected it to this light. And now we have a new location where we're going to place this light. You can see now that we've daisy chained the 
wires. We're going to go ahead and mount our light and light wire through to the port side of the boat. So we've wired our light, uh, we left a little extra, and we went ahead and zip-tied everything so it's nice and neat. So we ran the wi wires to the port side, we tightened everything up with our zip-ties, and now we'll go ahead and mount this light up here. Alright, so we just installed all four of our courtesy lights all around the deck and now we want to add a few more lights in. So we've got these small strip lights that we're going to put around under the gunnel to add a little bit more lighting on the boat. So we're going to add two of these to each side of the boat and we're going to just install them directly in line with the wires that we already have underneath. And again, just, just to show a close up of how we're daisy chaining these wires in together, I'm going to connect the other wires right here. So we've gone ahead and run these lights right in line with our lighting wire that already existed here. We daisy chained that in. So now we're gonna go ahead and take our light and peel and stick it. We've already cleaned the surface on the inside. So we're just going to peel and stick it right in there. Now we'll tuck the wires in and secure them up. And now we'll do the other three. Now we're going to tighten up these wires. We liked how these lights turned out so much that we went ahead and ordered some more lights, as well as this tie wrap mounting kit, because we wanted to add a few lights in the helm area as well. We use the same technique of daisy chaining these lights into the current circuit that we have. And then we went ahead and secured them using the tie wrap mounts so that we have more lighting now next to the captain and co-captain chairs. Let's turn these lights on and show you guys how they look. If you guys liked this video and found it helpful, we would absolutely love it if you would consider subscribing. It helps our channel grow. If you want to learn more about other boat wiring projects, check out our website, perfectfitboating.com. We have an ebook that's available for super cheap that will be very helpful for you guys. Thank you so much and see you next time.